Hi, I'm Brittany Hirsch here with Matt Smith Real Estate Group. We're at Miramac Vineyards with Joe and Michelle. I have a couple questions for you guys. Sure, so yeah. first off, what got you started with Miramac Vineyards? So, uh, you know, I worked, a, I worked a job where I was commuting for a number of years and uh, it was a pretty, uh, pretty decent grind for me. And uh, the company I worked for uh, decided to sell. So at that time I decided, hey, do I want to continue commuting and drive in the St. Louis region? We had a job offer in Chicago as well. Um, and then I decided, why not just go crazy? Just buy a winery, right? So the place I'd been driving by for a number of years, I saw it for sale and I just kind of like hashed out this plan, tried to talk Michelle into it. First go was no go. So I had to work <laughs> on my salesmanship a little bit with her. So uh, I was driving into work one day and uh, I thought, man, I'm gonna give this a go. It's like a really bad day at work. And that's the best time I think to write down your goals and visions and dreams of something you wanna do. So uh, I had a legal pad and I just filled the legal pad completely out. And I brought it home that night and I told Michelle, I was like, hey, I want you to look at this because I really wanna do this. And, and then- uh, The rest I, is history. Yeah, the rest is history. She, took it well. she said yes, <laughs> again. <laughs> what is your favorite place about the location here in St. James? You know, years ago when Michelle and I first got together, we had kind of like mapped out like our future. Uh, we were going to either move to Springfield, Michelle went to college in Columbia. Uh, so we were really looking at those areas. Uh, and then we found out we had a son and uh, we're having a son and we were like, okay, now what do we do? And it really, uh, it really pushed us to kind of look outside of the area a little bit here to try to find a little small town charm and feel. Uh, we love the school systems here once we got to looking at this and we decided to make St. James our home. So uh, ideally with, you know, this being right here is the forefront. It's the first thing people see before they get into St. James. And I thought, what a great, you know, it's something that caught my eye for years. A great location to pull people off the interstate, to, to get people from locally, from in town to come down and just, just have a great time with us. People see all kinds of stuff we do around here. I mean, they'll be driving by and they'll be like, hey, I saw you falling off a ladder out front. I'd be like, yeah, that was me. And they'd be like, hey, I saw you over there like drinking like a beer in each hand. I'm like, yeah, that was me, you know? So so we have a lot of fun over here and uh, it's pretty it's pretty open and visible for everybody to see. So, you know, you're, once every uh, few months we have somebody crash into our fence and that gives everybody something to talk about for a little while. So, you know, we just uh, we just like bringing out in the forefront. So. so if people want to stop by here and meet you guys and see everything you guys have to offer the community, what's a good time to stop by? Yeah, absolutely. So our hours just changed. We're open Wednesday through Friday 3 to 9 and Saturday 1 to 9. We are always pet friendly so feel free to bring your pet, uh, walk them around the building and we've got bowls with uh, water and treats and we'd love to see them um, and have you come by for some drinks. Absolutely, I will definitely stop by more.